hey, are you trying to find a Teco sprinkler frog but have no luck because it's sold out since the day of launch? No problem, you can make your own. Stay tuned to watch the video and learn how to make one. All right guys, I just got to Atlantic City, basketball shops. Let's go out there and find our stuff. So guys, I've been trying to order the Teco Sprinkler Frog. It's been sold out since the day it was launched and I saw a lot of them being sold at eBay at ridiculous prices. So I was like, dude, why don't I just make my own? So I went out and bought some frogs, some, uh, some equipment, and I was able to put one together and it swam pretty well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this guy right here. Alright guys, in order to make this awesome frog right here, the Tackle Sprinkler homemade version, uh, you need a couple things. It is laid out all right here. Of course, number one thing is you need a frog. Today we'll be using Booyah, Pad Crasher, this is my favorite. Uh, I have a small one right here as you guys can see, the junior version. Uh, I'll probably be playing around with this uh, after this video, but I would like to try a smaller version in case uh, there's a situation where I would need a smaller version. All right. You need some split rings. I got size six and size eight, depending on what size frogs you, you have. Uh, we'll be using a size eight for this one today. Got some swivel. You need some high quality swivels. I chose Spro. Uh, this is a size eight. Now note, depending how thick your split ring is, you may need a bigger um, uh, swivel because these holes are actually very super duper small. This actually just made it and it only um, stay on one section right here, a split rig, which should not be a problem. Then you need some sort of twist lock uh, mechanism to hold your bait. Now, owner makes one called Center Point Spring, which looks exactly like what Tekel use um, for their frogs. It has that little, that's why they call center pin. It has a center pin where you pinpoint exactly where you need to lock the tail, twist it in, and you should be good to go. Lastly, you need some sort of paddle t uh, swim bait paddle tail. Um, today, I'll be using a Power Team Lures JP Hammer Shad, but as you can see, I have some gigantic speed shad from uh, Bass Pro Shops. You can see that it's a different, you know, different size itself. This is, let's take a look. It says it's six inch, and the one that I have right now is 4.8. So we're gonna be breaking off the tail and using only the section of the tail. All right guys, the first step you want to do is unbox your frog and get rid of the legs. Now, the legs are perfectly good uh, skirt, so what you want to do is you want to actually save this. Uh, save this for your other frogs that you may be using, uh, that you may need to replace in the future. So throw that on the side for now. So now you have a perfectly brand new legless frog. Second, you need to pick out your split ring, all right? So, we've got a size eight right here, split ring, Bass Pro Shop. Now, you wanna take this frog, you wanna take the hook and flip it around. Now, it's really sharp, as you see, it kind of go back to place, so if you actually flick it, see how it comes back out? You might hurt yourself. Uh, you might wanna try some pliers 
to hold on to it, but I'm just gonna yellow it and just give it a shot. Let's see. So you squeeze them together, put the split ring in, ow, and presto. All right, so that's one. Actually, I might try this one, it's the smaller version, the size six for the next one. So you want to take a second split ring and you want to glide it through your split ring so you have two split rings. This will make your tail a little further out because if it's too close to your hooks, it's actually the lure is actually going to be uh, very far at the bottom. See, see, see this right here? Let me show you right here. Let this focus. See, if it had one split ring, this guy would be uh, the lure would be tied into back here, and it will be way underneath the the frog. You have another split ring. What happened is it trailed back a little bit, and because it's soft plastic and there's a a resistance it's going to be gliding right in the back rotating all right so that's why i use two split rings if you got a split ring plier it'll be perfect time to use it all right works really well all right guys now that you got the split ring on here you want to get the where is that thing up oh, right behind here all right, you want to put on your power swivel. All right, again, you use your split shot. If not, you know, some fingernails or maybe uh, a very small screwdriver, flathead will help, uh, help you guys out right there. All right, guys, so now you have your split ring, two split rings, and your swivel. You want to rotate this bad boy back in here. And now, you're, half, you're halfway there, man. All right. Now, I got a large and a small uh, center pin ring. These uh, bait, uh, bait savers. I am going to be using medium. I thought I want to use large for this this big gigantor. But apparently, um, you know, I'll be using this guy for now. Because I have a bunch of these laying around. And we want to put this guy right into the tail. And this guy, this guy right here is pretty thin. So... I would say if you guys were to buy any, I would buy more of the mediums. And if you actually use something relatively, relatively thick, you want to buy the large one. So let's open this guy up. Let's go down. Here we go. Let's see. So we got a few left. Good, good. I can make it a few more. Hopefully the Teco doesn't get uh, mad at me. Teco sprinkler. I'm gonna call him Tecler because sounds it sounds better. All right. Oops, wrong guy. So this is very easy to put in. You can see this look like a thread drill right here, right? You just put that into the uh, sw swivel. Hook it through. Come on. Alright. Twist lock it. Keep twisting until it gets to the end. Oops. Wrong way. And ta da! You're just about done. Now, let's get to the soft plastic right here. At first, let me show you. I, the first time I did it, what I did was I just ripped off that one piece right in the center and I used the whole thing. What I realized that uh, the longer the tail, for some reason, it doesn't rotate well uh, because it has so much flexibility on the tail. What happened was it just kind of rotated a couple times and you know it does paddle tail a couple times. So I figured that the shorter the tail, trying to mimic the, the, the Tekel Sprinkler Frog, uh, the better it rotates. So. What I want to do is after, if you are using Power Team Lures of JP Hammer Shad, uh, you rip that piece off and in between the next two sections, th there is actually um, a dot right here. You guys might not be able to see that, but I am going to rip it from that dot right there. Just pinch it in, rotate. There you go. That's the tail I'll be using, alright? 
So you take this thing right here, center it really, really well. Just like that. And just like a corkscrew, you screw this thing in as far as you can. As straight as possible too if you can. And you want to get so deep th that as you see, it's hitting the point of your swivel. Alright? So there you go. Alright? It's, uh, it's, it's complete. It's going to work really well. One thing I don't have in this video right here is my, my cock is the, uh, it's caulk gun. It's a type of uh, glue. I glued the holes right here uh, because when I went out to do a test shot, it filled up with water and it started sinking. So what you want to do is fill these holes up right here with some sort of glue, whatever glue you want to use. I use silicone, so I had a caulk gun full of uh, silicone and I put it into the hole and I'm just letting this guy cure before I go back out this evening trying to get some evening fishing going. So there you guys have it. This is the homemade version of the Techler Frogs. I am so excited. I can't wait to throw these out there and catch some awesome big fish. I might even land a northern snakehead. If you guys can't wait for that stupid long backwater for the Techler Frog, you guys can go out there and make your own just like me. You guys can check the description below as I left all the stuff that I used today in order to make these guys right here. If you guys are wondering how the action of these look like, Stay tuned in the end of this video. I do have some footage of me casting these and um, it does rotate really, really well. So check out that action. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully guys, I'll catch an awesome fish and I'll be releasing that video soon. Peace out. Check out my homemade tickler. I was gonna put it right in front of me so you can actually see the action. Oh. It does paddle. That's what I'm talking about. It spins with the power team lures tail.